so hi guys in this tutorial i'll be showing you how you can design burial souvenir or event souvenir so as you can see this design i made here i printed it on a bag you understand i charged 5000 naira to design this and to print it on a bag you can see the bags here the bags are 100 copies so for me to print it on this bag i charged 70000 naira which was 700 pay one 700 pay one do you understand so today i'm going to be showing you how you can make this type of design and make money from that too so my aim here is just to teach you the ways you can make money free of charge so now as you can see before i start i might have known the measurements i want to use this type of work now i don't need to use a4 or a5 i will have to measure this uh, bag from here to here know the length then from here to here know the width so i've measured it before and what i got is 11 inches from here to here is 11 inches then from this height to this height is uh, 7 inches so i'll be using 11 by 7 so let's get started let me cancel all this let's get started so that you see how everything works it's not by magic so now what i'm going to do is to press ctrl n to create a, a page i'll make sure that this is in inches then i'll enter the the width 11 11 inches then the height should be 7 inches then i click okay so i'll be working on this page this is the page i will use for this work so and before i start before i start we are going to go and get the pictures we'll be using for this particular design so let me go to where i kept the picture and get the pictures so as you can see this is the picture we'll be using for this design let me double i've already cropped it so we'll not start our first to start cropping it you, understand? you know it will consume a lot of our time you understand so i've already cropped it i've made it easy for us. so in your own just know that you have to crop this picture as from the background first you understand so now let's start with our page so the first thing i'm going to do is that i would like to use red color because if i check this man's clothes now this cap i would like to use the color on this cap you understand i would like to use the color on this cap. so the color on this cap is is red so i'll be using red and white to design this because the color of the cap is red and white and you know i don't like this color that the color of the clothes that is the reason why i will not use it so i will be making use of red mainly with red and white so let's see if red and white will be a very nice color for us so the first thing i'm going to do is that we already have our background already so i'll create a solid color a solid color is a layer that already has color so if i click here this menu will come out this option will pop out this pop-up menu will pop out then i'll go to solid color click on solid color is selecting black for me but what i need is red so i should come up here here that i will have red choose i would like to use a dark red dark red should be okay for me then i click ok i've created a red background so the next thing i'm going to do is i want i will go and import the picture you understand i'll go and import the picture so you already cropped the picture now so and you have imported it in photoshop so the next thing i'll do is to drag it i'll left click on it hold left click and hold then drag and touch this bar then it will open then i will now drop it bring it at the center here then release my hand from my mouse so this is the picture i'll be using so 
this time around i'll have to select the part i want i don't want the whole the full pictures so i would like to cut from here so i can quickly use this um a rectangular marker tool to come here then select this down i'll select from here then i click on delete because i've selected because i've selected from here from this hand to this place I click on delete i'll delete the rest so i'll click on delete so i've deleted this down so i'll press ctrl d or right click to deselect two of them are the same so the next thing i'm going to do is i will come here i would like to create a color that is just related to the clothes you understand let it be that we didn't use the color on the clothes. So what I'm going to do now is I will come here, use this rectangular marker tool, then create a shape like this. Then when I create this type of shape, the next thing I'm going to do is I will click on this color for me to pick the color of the clothes. I will click on this foreground color here then i will shift i'll drag this thing to shift so i will see the man then i'll come here and dab on the color of the clothes so i've gotten the color of the clothes then i'll click okay so the next thing i'm going to be doing here is to add this color into this background so i have to come here and create empty layer if i click on here a layer will come out an empty layer will come out here so i click here the empty layer has popped out so I'll just use my paint bucket tool and click here, click inside this shape I created. So once I dab once, the color has shown up, it has been added to the, to the layer we created. So the next thing I'll do is to deselect so that this line rounding it will go. So I'll press Ctrl D to deselect or right click and click on deselect. So the next thing I'm going to do now is i will as you can see this shape now is too it has sharp end sharp end so i would like to make it so be called v so what i'm going this way i'm going to do it is i will just click on this effect click on stroke then i'll come here i'll come on this color and pick this color here the same color of the clothing i'll click ok and I will increase it more. I will keep increasing it till it becomes curvy. Then I guess this pattern is as it is now is okay for me. Then I will click OK. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is to increase the size of the shape. I want to make it. I will, I will raise it up a little bit. I will raise it a little bit up. Then i'll bring i would like to make it so as you can see this image this shape now is covering this image because this layer we created is on top of this image so i'll drag this image up to come on top of this layer as you can see it has it has come forward sorry so the next thing i'm going to do is i would like to increase the height of this shape you understand so i, I don't want to make it big it's only this i don't want to make the whole to increase the whole body the only thing i want to increase is the height you understand so the only thing i want to increase is the height then i'll come that is when i'll start using this box at the center remember when you want to increase the whole size you hold shift then you, you use this box at the edges is either you use this one or you use this one or you use this one or you use this one that is when you want to increase the whole body so the next thing i'm going to be doing is i'll just hold here if i want i'll hold shift now hold shift and drag it down a little bit down then i stand so as it is now it is okay for me in this shape and the next thing i'm going to be doing is to put this man inside this page 
and so now see make it a little bit let me click on this layer and make it a little bit bigger a little bit bigger a little bit bigger just make sure you are creating what you have in your mind then the next thing I'm gonna do is to drag it down a little bit again and I drag it down all right so what I'll be doing here is control I would like to expand this image I hold my shift to expand it make sure you hold your shift your shift key it's very very necessary so this is what we have currently then I would like to make this image this um, shape now this rectangular shape to penetrate this red background just small so I'll click on the opacity and drag it small so that it will just penetrate a little bit so that the color of uh, that, this man's clothes will show very well and I'll click OK then the next thing I'm going to be doing is the next thing I'm going to be doing is I have the, the picture of another picture of this man so I would like to keep those pictures beside it then reduce the opacity so I'll let me cancel this one. I'll go and bring the picture. This is the picture, the picture of the man. So this time around, we have to crop this one. So I've not cropped it. So the easiest way I will use to crop it is the easiest way I will use to crop it is I'll I'll not need the leg. So I'll just I need, only need the top. So I select the top you too, I will not need the left so I'll click I'll right click inside then click on select inverse so that it will come and select the leg you understand or I can even come down and select only select the leg where I want to delete then I will double click here to open this key bam, bam. then click OK then now I will delete this part you understand so I will now have the top left so what I'll do, I will use this uh, magic uh, one two. This magic one two, and I will come here. I'll 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 be deleting this color because this is a plain color. That is the reason why I don't want to use that. I don't want to use this uh, polygonal market. Um, yes, polygonal lesser two to start cropping. So I'll just use this one to be fast. I will click on this red color to select the red color for me. I will delete. Then I'll click here is to select this color for me. I'll delete. I'll click here to select this color for me too. I'll delete. Then I'll click here, select this color, delete. Select this color, delete. I don't need to make the cropping fine this time around because it is not gonna show very well. It's the other the main image, so I'll have to use this one and cut all this. All these antennas here but if you have time you can still use your time to crop it out to crop the image out but we won't have enough time we don't have enough time i don't want this video to be too long so the next thing i'm going to do is to drag this image inside this place and i'll drag it and keep here i'll expand it I'll expand it so if I if I expand it like this the next thing I'm going to do as you can see this image is covering this the main image this new imported image now is covering it and I don't need it. first of all I'll change it to black white uh, black and white by pressing ctrl shift u ctrl shift u is black and white then I'll drag it down so that it will come behind this one and this one so look at it here look at it here so i have to drag it down do you understand i'll have to drag it down so then i'll now reduce the opacity i'll reduce the opacity i want the i want it to enter inside so i will reduce first of all this place that i show showing i don't need it so i'll use my eraser tool to 
to blend it so i pick my eraser to increase the size i will keep increasing the size till i get the size i want so i'll come here and wipe this down you understand i'll wipe this down because i don't need it so the next thing i'm going to do is to duplicate this layer by holding my alt alt key if i hold alt then i will let's click and drag and come this side so i want it, i want it to be this side too so because because this side we were not showing before we were not able to clean so the next thing i'm going to do is to pick my eraser tool again then wipe here to blend it you understand so this time around i'll reduce the opacity i'll click here reduce the opacity keep reducing the opacity till i get what i want so as it is now it's okay for me so the opacity is 10 let's use something like 16 so the opacity is okay for me then i'll come up, i'll come to this one again and reduce the opacity to 16 you understand so i think we are done with the bag okay we are not done okay for now we are done with the background so let's start with the typographist then i'll select my type to click on my type to come here and once i come here i'll click bam then this um, um cursor starts showing let me increase my font size so i will see what i'm doing properly then the first title there is call to glory call to glory and i'll click okay i'll change the color to white you understand i'll change the color to white then i don't think if i i like this color this font so the next thing i'm going to do is to change this font and the next thing i'm going to do is to change this font font and i'll click on this type to then go to font i will look for font that i want I want to use this font. So the next thing I'm going to do is to increase it by holding my shift key. Then using this bar icon, first of all, I click, then I drag, increase. You understand? And then the next thing I'm going to do is to minimal. So the next thing i'm gonna do is to write the date so for me to write the date i would like to write the dates on a box here create the date on the box then create the date um the year the age here so i would like to create a plain white background here so i'll create a plain white background here this is the concept i want to use we have many concepts just Make sure you are creating concepts by yourself or you can go to Google and research for any type of concept you want. So I'll just create this shape here, then create an empty layer where I'll be adding the white color. So I, I dab, this is my empty layer, then I come here and pick white color. Then I use my paint bucket, so I click on my paint bucket to then add it here. You understand? Then I... I click Ctrl D to deselect this line. So as you can see, I want this white colonel to come in between this man and this rectangular shape. So what I will do is I will drag it. Look at the man here. Look at the rectangular shape. So I will drag this one and come in between this man and this rectangular shape. So I will drag it. I will reach and stop. As you can see, this color has shown here. The next I'm going to do is to reduce the size so the next thing i'm going to do now is i will write the date first of all before i write the date i will still like to create where i will write the date and i will create a rectangular shape in this form then i will make sure the shape will be on top of these layers then i'll create an empty layer you understand and I'll use my pink bucket to and add white color. 
then I will deselect. I go to my effects. I want it to okay, I want it to have a round an outline, a red outline. So I click on stroke, click on color, then click red red, and I'll increase it to six. Then you can see that now that if I drag it up, you will see a red outline on it. Then I have to duplicate these two because I want one to be this side. So I'll hold my Alt key or I'll go to uh, this layer and right click on it, then click on duplicate. Then I'll click OK. Then I'll drag one as you can see it is down to and come this side. So the next thing I'm going to do is next thing I'm going to do is to write the dates. So I'll be using red color because I'm working on a white background. And I'll write dates. I'll mark it, then I'll change it to red color. And I'll increase the date. Sorry. Have you seen what how this date looks like now? It doesn't have shape again because I didn't hold my shift key before expanding it. So I'll have to cancel by clicking on this zero icon here. Then I'll hold my shift key this time around, come at this edge, click on it, then it's open like this, then I'll expand. I'll expand. I'll expand. Then this date. This date. Then I don't like this font. I'll be using another font. I'll be using another font. So this font should be okay for me. Then I will reduce the size of the font to fit the size of the typography to fit here. So the next thing I'm going to do is I will click on here to write the date which is 9th of April 2021 and I will click here to And expand it to come down with the date. So so that is it. The next thing I'm going to do is to write the age. The age should be this side. So I'll write the age. I'll come here and click here. Right. He is 90 years old. So I'll write nine first. Please make sure you are working on the on top of the image, top of the layer. Then I will write nine first. Anytime you write something and it's not showing, check if you are using the same color on the same background, or check if the right top is covered. Maybe a layer is covering it here. So I will expand the nine. I want I can use gradient colors here but I won't have time to do that so I'll just expand the color then the next thing I'm gonna do is I click here right zero because he's 90 years old so I'll click good and I'll come and drag expand this here remember to hold your shift key anytime you want to expand and I'll click here and drag it in And I will have to expand this zero. And as you can see, the zero is not showing well. So what I will do is that I will add a white or black uh, outline on it so that it will differentiate from the nine. And I'll add stroke. Look at the stroke has differentiated it from the nine. If I want, I can still add shadow to this but I don't want to add it so the next thing I'm going to do is to write uh, I'll write something like I'll write something like 
I'll use black color this time around. As you can see, I've not used any other color except uh, red, red and white. So now, what I'm going to do is I'll write aged. I'll write aged. Well, I'll, I'll turn it to black color. Then I'll bring it this side. This is the concept I want to use. Then I'll write year. I'll write year. So very very easy and simple. I love graphic design. So I'll click here and say OK. So the last thing I'm going to do is to finish up the typography, which is number one says, first one says, let chief, and the second one said, The second one said, Oh, yeah. And then, then the, the fifth one said, A, K, A. A.K.A. Ogara Nya Ocha Ogara Ogara Nya Ocha And I click OK Then the last typography will be Kotsi Which is The last one is called C. Mr. Mr. And Mr. And Mrs. Woman. So now we are done with the typography. The next thing is to arrange. So I would like to change all of them to white color. So here I'll just click here, click on the color. Then I don't like this font. So the, the thing I'm going to do is to change this font. I'll change this font to this one. Then I will, I will, then this font also, I will change it to white color first. Then once I change it to white color, the next thing I'm gonna do is to change the the font. Let me check the font that will that will suit. I guess this font is okay and this one also I will change it to white color so I mark good first then change it to white color then I will change the font I will choose a font that will be that will be suitable for me if you check i've been working with only two fonts since two to three fonts but i've not made use of more than so the next thing i'm going to do is to change the color of this one too then change the font 
let me change the color first i'll click ok then i will change the font and i'll use this so the ne the last the next thing i'm going to do is to start arrangement then this time around i'll start making use of my move to and I'll expand this one a little bit bigger and I'll click OK. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to arrange this one too. Then I'll expand it. I'll expand it like this. So I would like it to be a little bit thicker. So I'll go to my effect, go to stroke go to color click on white then i'll increase the size i'll click ok so the next thing i'm going to be doing now is to okay this organizer is okay for me and this pattern then the next thing i'll do is to this cut to increase the size of this cut and i'll drag I also drag then you I will come down here you understand then I'll click OK this fine so that's good I think we are done the last thing we are going to do is to check the grid to grid it then we go to view go to show go to grid so i'll be making use of this particular line for this grid so i'll come here i'll drag this one to this place i'll drag this to here okay let me make use of this line Let me make use of this line. I want all of them to be sent back to this line. So the next thing I'm going to do is to to shoot this right up to shift this one to this line. then this image is already here so no need to touch the image so the next thing is this chief i will have to shift it here so that's then this anin then i align this one so this one has been aligned already so this one I have to bring it here so the next thing i'll do is to remove the grid as you can see we are done with this design it is now ready for printing so thank you guys for participating in this class as you can see the design was very very simple and easy if you want you can add your own imprint but i don't want to do that so that is how i did everything i didn't perform magic so you can still do it research make your research and see some other concept that you can use or you can if you want you can still use my concept so thank you guys for participating click on your subscription button if this video will be useful to you then like this video and support me to have strength and create other another content for you thank you very much guys see you in the next class